Okay guys, so I got a package today from Voodoo Brothers. Uh, I just want to show you guys what I've got. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff that they sent me. Um, let's open the package. Let's see what I got right here today. Okay, so this one of the items that in here that I'm actually really, really excited for. Um, I, I don't want to tell you guys yet. You get it. You get it. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So many packaging. Alright. So, that's number one. Number two. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure what this is yet. Let's open that in a second. Oh, uh, look at this thing right here. Okay. Alright. So, we got a. So I've got about four different things right here. Let's open them one by one. Okay, just set this on the side. Set this on the side. Set this on the side. Just open the big door first. Okay. So. Whoa. This is nice. This is really nice packaging right here. Let's see what's in here. Look at this thing right here. Wow. Look at this. This is really fancy. So you got a zip in the front, you can put, oh nice, can I see through? Okay, okay, now this is like a backpack almost, so you can put this on the back, okay. Alright, so what's most importantly, what's in here? Alright, let's see what's in here. Wow. Okay, I'm put the scissors away. Dude, this is really nice. Alright. So what I have right here is a 14 ounce um, Buddha Brothers own set of boxing gloves. Um, I gotta tell you this, okay? I've used a lot of fair tax because I'm a, technically a fair tax type of guy. Uh, this is actually really nice made. Fight for your future. I like that. That's really cool. Okay. Nice quality. Smells brand new. Um, well, this is a really nice set of boxing gloves. Okay. We're gonna actually test them out today. Uh, I'm gonna do a review on this today. Uh, when when my partner gets in here, we're gonna do a whole set of a, a series with the boxing gloves. I wanna see how them actually feels with the, with the striking, and I wanna see how them actually feel through uh, throughout the process of training. Um, right now, I can tell you this: this actually looks really good. Nice. It's got a huge valve cord on top, and even this valve cord is oh, this is really nice. So the differences on this valve cord, it's not like the traditional valve cord with with the spikes kind of comes out that you can kind of feel it's like oh, it kind of hurts on the hand. This feels really good. It doesn't actually hurt your, your, your skin. Even just rub it against it. I like that. I like that nice and neat design. Really nice. Okay, I'm gonna set this on the side for now. And I, and I really like the fact that it comes with a, with a bag like this. This is really nifty. I have never seen anything like this. It's almost like a backpack and travel with it. Wow, that's cool. Let's put this on the side for now, okay? Alright, let's open up the second thing right here. Right, let's see what this is. Look at this. This is a really nice packaging. So this is actually the palm stick. Um, I'm a little afraid to open this because it looks so nice that I just don't want to open this just yet. I gotta open it for you guys so you can see it, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna put the gloves on the side so you guys can get a better view of this, okay? Whoa! So this is a metal, a metal palm stick, okay? Um, and of course I know that Everybody calls something a little different, but in Kali, we call this a palm stick. You can use four variations on the grip, control, and striking. This actually looks really nice. I'm gonna show you if you guys can see the design on this thing right here. Besides the logo itself, I really like the uh, the texture of the, of the uh, palm stick. Feels really nice, feels really solid. I can't wait to use this today. Okay. Sorry, Mike, I might use this on you today. All right. Let's see what's the next package right here. Oh, what is this? Oh wow, really nice. This is I believe is a hand wrap. Yep, hand wrap. Really nice, wow. I got new hand wraps, I got new boxing glove, and I got a new palm stick. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna have to try this out, okay? I'm gonna put this on the side so I can try this out later, okay? Here's the last thing I have right here, okay? So this I believe was a, maybe more, more so for an accessory, or, yeah. So what this is, uh, this goes on the top of your head, more like a decoration for, uh, for everyday use. I believe you can also use as a mask, yeah. 
So this is multifunctional. You know, you can use that on your head. So basically, like a like a what do you call this? Like, like a, I wouldn't I wouldn't call that a hat. Like a like a bandana that goes on your head. I'm not sure what it's called. This is really cool. I'll have my try this on. Okay. All right. So I'm really excited. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what I'm most excited for. I'm excited for the boxing glove. I mean, just look at this thing. The texture on the top and everything looks really really nice. Okay. I uh, haven't put this on just yet, but I'm gonna put this on in a second to kind of see how it feels. Then this right here, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. There's so many things that we can do in Kali with this bad, bad boy right here, okay? I almost cursed. I didn't say that word, okay? So don't, don't quote me on it, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna be using this today. We're gonna do a review on this and the boxing glove. We'll see how it feels like, alright? I'll see you guys on the mat. Alright guys, so let's demonstrate a few variations with this pump stick, okay? So in Kali, you can have the variations on the grip, right? So you can have lots of putting like this, or you can have lots of the top like this. What I like to do is actually hold in the middle. So that way you get a little bit of top of the tip and the bottom of the tip, right? So one is when he punch with a straight punch, we're gonna talk about specifically just on a straight punch. You can one we'll call a scoop right there, right? Notice how my hand comes in with a scoop, but just remember. Typically, when people punch with a jab, the cross follows in. So I move my hand on the side. At the same time, I'm gonna pull the stick directly into a net. That first shot, she stunned him, right? For some reason, if I miss a shot, this hand actually retracts back and follows three strikes into the bicep. So again, one, two, no time. Move my hand off to the side. I put my thumb, I put my finger right here just in case I accidentally poke him. So it's for safety. Number two, I'm gonna go inside Gunting. This goes directly into the radial nerve. You can pass, back and glinting, drop it down. You can hit directly the head to the temple or directly to the bicep. Okay, so one more time on the entry. One, two right here, three, four, five, trap and hit, just like that. Now, on the first follow up, if I scoot into like this, I could bring him in using the bottom of the, uh, the uh, pump stick or I can bring him down using the top of the stick. Either way, I want to split entry, then I'm going to go in like that. Now notice how this hit comes in. Then that first shot can go into the elbow or can strike down towards the head with the stick, right? What I like to do a lot of times when you come in like this, I carry down, notice how my stick comes through, I'm going to use that as a leverage point. Then I'm going to go under book. Then from here, I have a really nice secure hand in a striking position with the pump stick. This you can also go through with the knee, okay? So one more time with the strike. So it goes one and two. Notice how I come in, boom, that's a strike. When I strike, I'm gonna move my body away from the free hand, right there. Right there, that's when I hit to the back of the head, or maybe I'll step in to hook the head, and there is a knee right there, okay? So that's one use with the palm stick. The other use is, if my body gets a little closer, you can actually apply the choke. So when I come in one and two like that, I'm still gonna go and then disrupt the bicep and the tricep. Back and strike to the neck. From here, I'll hook this back of the neck, and my knee straight down. Notice my knee comes through, bring the head down. Then from here, I'm gonna strike, and then my hand comes in and grab onto the stick. My elbows are pinch the head. I'm gonna drop, notice I move his head, then apply the choke, okay? So one more time. I come in one and two like that. Routine one, two, three. I hit, backhand, bring down for a knee. I step in, notice I grab onto the stick. I basically use my elbow to pinch his head. At the same time, I just squeeze right there. That's a basic choke with the same position, okay? So, what I like about this stick is, it's because most of the palm sticks tend to be a little shorter. What you see is right here, palm stick goes usually go about this, 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 uh, this length, right? So either I go hold it a little higher or lower. What I like about this is actually have a nice grip. Not just the nice grip itself, but it also gave you a really nice secure top and the bottom. So what happens is, if I was scooping the first shot right here, this I can use, so it's using as a punch. This I can bring it down. That can be an overhand. This comes through like that, see? This could be a gung team on the bottom, right? Because the goal for me is to destroy the limbs. Doesn't matter if you just come in like that, that's the first shot. You just gotta be careful with this because that's a destruction on the hand. If I scoop it, sorry, <laughs> two comes in. Notice how the destruction on the bicep, the tricep. If you hook in, boom right here. Notice how my hand goes through. That's also a bicep destruction. Now right here, notice how my body comes through. If he does punch me, mm -hmm. I can get trapped. Then 
you take it up for further destruction, okay? So one more time on this technique, I go one or two like that. Notice how my hand goes in. I go one, two, bring it down. Three or four. Right here, I'm gonna bring it down, okay? Right here, notice how my elbow stays right here. This on the hands that shoot in. Control the outer side of the uh, palm stick. Then from here, I just drop my elbow, stay really close, then squeeze. Notice how when I squeeze, it's a choke, okay? So that's the second variation. On the first variation, what I do is I want to bring it down. I destroy either two of the body or the neck, okay? Then I use the top part of the stick to bring this hand up. Control right here, then you just basically make a hook. Like we call this redondo in cardio. And you redondo motion with the head. Now you can also hook this head, bring it in, and just leave. Now what I like to do sometimes is toss your leg over, you have a very nice critical hollow. Then you destroy it on the rib or the tricep or the head. So the next one we have right here is a boxing glove, okay? I have to say though, I'm so used to different type of boxing glove. The boxing glove I'm typically used to is a Muay Thai style, which gives it a little, a little shorter on the wrist part. But the good thing with this boxing glove, if you box a lot with your hands, you will notice that you tend to bend your wrist like this, right? This is a little insecure uh, portion on the wrist. What I'll say with this type of glove is that you give this really nice secure grip just around the form in your wrist. So when I was hitting the back with this, it, it's almost impossible to hurt your wrist because it does not allow you to bend. So I think for a boxing drill, this is perfect, really good, right? So I'm gonna basically move around with the, uh, with the boxing glove just for a second to kind of see how it feels like. And I'm gonna give you guys a full review after this, okay? All right, ready? Let's go. Ready? Right, now that you have seen what it looks like with the boxing gloves on, I have to say though, this boxing glove is legitly feeling, feeling good. Um, with a lot of boxing glove, there's usually not a lot of padding on the top or around the back of the hand. On this one, even when I'm punching through the pads, I almost don't feel anything. And I really like how this boxing glove feels on the hand. Uh, for me, because I have a smaller hand, so they, when, when I fit the boxing gloves on, a lot of times there's a lot of space around my hand just because of the nature of the the shape of, of, of the glove. On this one, when I swing that cross, this feels really nice. And it's almost impossible for me to bend my wrist any sort of direction. So it does give you that nice secure grip on the punch, right? Same with the body hook. When I body hook, it almost forces you to have a really good form, right? You can't do this type of uh, body hook. So you gotta make sure your body bends in, bang, with a body hook. So overall rating, I give this a thumbs, thumbs up. I actually love the gloves itself how secure it is on your wrist and how nice it feels on the hand. So I'm gonna put the link down below in the description box. So if you guys are interested, please give it a visit and check them out. I do think that their gloves and their palm stick and all their products legit. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys next time.